Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be doing another monthly favorites video, just rounding up some of my current favorite products that I've been using and reaching for. Today we have some makeup, obviously, some hair stuff, some body stuff, some just kind of random stuff. So if you guys are interested in hearing about some of my current favorites, just keep watching. Um, and before we begin, if you did not see my last video, I had my bonding on my teeth redone. So if I have like a little bit of an adjustment when I'm speaking, that is why, because um, I'm adjusting to them. So that brings me to my first product, which is a teeth whitening product that I have been loving. So before I had my bonding redone, I wanted to get my teeth nice and white so that they all match. So I have my teeth very nice and bright and white. So I wanted to make sure all my other teeth that I did not do bonding on are nice and white. So the product that I've been using for that is called Opalescence Glow. And this is their 15% tooth whitening system. So in here you get, how many trays do you get? I think you get like 10 trays and I did not use all of them. I think I used like half of them. So like five of these. So basically there are these like little whitening trays. There's no messy gel or anything. You just put them in your mouth. There's a top one and a bottom one. You leave it in your mouth for like 20 minutes or so. And that's basically it. So I did five rounds of these just so my teeth are nice and white and the color that I use for my bonding matches pretty perfectly so I love these and it also comes with this whitening toothpaste which is the opalescence whitening toothpaste so I want to see if they have a bigger tube of this because I'm almost out and I actually really really like this so if you guys are looking for a teeth whitening product definitely check these out I was previously using the crest one hour white strips and those are amazing but these just really take you to the next level and they are like a dentist recommended product so that is that um, next let's talk about some hand products. So the next product I wanted to mention is a foaming hand soap and this is from the brand Blue Land. Blue Land is sponsoring today's video and I need to get more products from them because now that I've tried their hand soap, I am obsessed. So basically Blue Land, if you're not familiar, they are a cleaning supply brand. So they have hand soaps, they have dish soap, laundry soap, um, just like regular cleaning supplies and they are good for the environment. They don't use any single use plastic, which is amazing. So you're cutting down on waste. And so, yeah, this is the hand soap and what this uses instead of like buying refillables or buying a new bottle of hand soap every time they use these little packets. So there are these little foaming like dissolving tablets and they have three different scents, the lemon one, lavender eucalyptus and iris agave. So my two favorites are definitely the lavender eucalyptus and the iris agave, but they all smell amazing. The lemon one I kind of like for my kitchen because it's like that fresh lemony smell. And then the other two I use in my bathroom and they just give you like a really nice spa like scent and I love them. They don't dry out my hands, which is important to me because my hands are just always so dry and these do not irritate them. So I'm going to insert a demo showing how to use the tablets and how they dissolve and everything, but I love them and they take up way less space. Like they're these tiny little packets and you can just throw them in a drawer or underneath your sink or wherever and they take up way less space than like bottles of like hand soap refills. So I love them. So yeah, you just drop the tablet in, wait for it to dissolve and the tablets are $2 a piece. But if you guys are interested in this, I would definitely recommend going with the hand soap duo. It's just a better deal. You get two of the glass bottles and six of the tablets and I will have an exclusive offer for you guys in the description box. Just click the link to receive three free refills with your hand soap duo order. So next, moving on to another hand product. This is a little hand sanitizer that I've been keeping in my purse. So this is the J.R. Watkins Cleansing Hand Elixir, and I've actually never tried anything like this before, but it is a naturally derived no rinse hand wash that cleanses, moisturizes, and revitalizes skin. So this is not like your traditional hand sanitizer, which kind of just dries out your skin and like smells like you did a shot of tequila or vodka or something. It has this amazing scent that kind of lingers on your hands. It's lightly moisturizing and I don't know, I just love it. I've been keeping this in my purse to use to, you know, cleanse my hands after, you know, I touch something or do whatever. Um, but I love it. It has glycoin for a youthful appearance of hands, cactus to nourish and soothe and beautify skin, calendula to protect collagen, and yeah, I'm obsessed. So I know they have different scents. I've only tried the Oud one, but this one smells amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. 
It's definitely a unisex scent. It's not too overpowering or too musky or anything. I think it just smells amazing. So love that. So then next up we have this CeraVe moisturizing cream. I have been loving this. I'm on like my second tub of this. I like the one with the pump. And yeah, it's just a basic everyday moisturizing cream. You can use this as like a hand cream or a body cream, or you can even use it on your face, but I have been loving using this when I get out of the shower. It's great if you have sensitive skin or if you just don't want like any added fragrance or anything like that. And has ceramides in there to moisturize and help protect your skin and keep the moisture in your skin, which is amazing. You need to, you know, protect your skin barrier, especially when it's been cold weather out. So I have been loving this. And then that brings me to my next product, which I have talked about recently, but it is from J.R. Watkins and it is their love body oil mist I did a whole like self-care video using this line I am obsessed with the scent of this this is the peony and patchouli scent from the love line and it smells really amazing so this is their body oil mist and you can use this straight up on its own all over your body obviously but sometimes I like to spray a few squirts of this into the palm of my hand and mix it with this body lotion just to give me a nice like light added scent and a little bit extra moisture because it has the oils in there and I just love it obviously you can use it on its own but these two together are so nice and this is like super random <laughs> and I don't know if this is like too TMI but if you guys have ever used poopery like the bathroom spray you can use something like this instead. It basically does the exact same thing. You spray this in the toilet before you go and then after you go and it's like nothing ever happened. It's like, it's our little secret. No one has to know. And it smells way better than poopery. The poopery, I don't know. They all smell the same. And then it just smells like you definitely did something in the bathroom. Like, I don't know. But <laughs> uh, either way, you want to use this product. It's multi-use and I, I love it. <laughs> So the next I have a skincare product that I want to mention, and I do need to do an updated video soon, I know, uh, but this is my new favorite non-tinted mineral sunscreen. So I always rave about the Elastin Hydro Tint, which provides coverage, it provides a tint, and I am obsessed with it, but I don't always want a tint or color, especially if I'm wearing makeup on over top of it. Like if I want to wear a foundation over top, like it just doesn't really make sense to use the tinted one. But anyways, I have been loving this. It just came out. They sent it to me before it released, but this is the Dr. Dennis Gross lightweight physical defense or something like that. Yeah, it is the lightweight wrinkle defense. It has SPF of 30. It is oil-free and reef safe and it is just so good. Uh, I was using the First Aid Beauty sunscreen, the weightless zinc one or whatever, but they took it off the market for whatever reason, and so I had to find something else for non-tinted, and I'm obsessed with this. It makes a great makeup primer as well, and it rubs in to be invisible. So as you're applying it, it does have like a little bit of a cast just for like one minute, but once you have it all rubbed in, there's no white cast, and it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's like sucking the dryness out, but it doesn't feel too heavy or chalky, and it doesn't have like a strong sunscreen smell, so there's no reason to really not be using this because it just is amazing. So love this product and it's newer and you need it. <laughs> and also it has blue light protection, which helps block the um, damage that's coming from all of our devices that we're on at all times. So that is an added bonus. Next, let's talk about some hair products. So first is a dry shampoo I've been loving. Um, I talked about this on stories recently. It's the L'Oreal Alviv Dream Lengths Air Volume Dry Shampoo, no white residue, instant body, long lasting clean feel without water. Um, so this is, I guess, specifically made for long hair, um, which I don't really know if that's like a actual thing, but this is a really good invisible dry shampoo. I really like it. It's it's similar to me to the Rudkin Invisible Dry Shampoo that I love. This one does have a very light scent to it, nothing overpowering. You're not gonna smell this over your perfume, which is my like pet peeve, um, but it's a very nice, light, soft touch feel. I feel like that's the best way I could describe it is soft touch because you know, some dry shampoos out there, like they leave uh, like a rough kind of grip and texture on your hair, which, you know, some people like, but I don't typically like that. So this is one of those dry shampoos you can apply day after day after day, and it's not going to feel like a lot because it's just a very light texture. So I really like this. It adds a nice volume to it, 
and it doesn't leave a white cast on my hair, which is important because my hair is dark. And yeah, it says that it's for longer hair and you can put it in the ends of your hair if you want a little like extra body and volume, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, it's affordable. You can get it at the drugstore and what else? Is there anything else in here that you need to know? I don't think so. That's pretty much it. <laughs> then I have some exciting news. I have a new favorite hair mask. And if you are familiar with any of like my hair videos, you know I've been raving about the Jisoo honey infused hair mask for years. And I still do love it. Don't get me wrong, I still love it. But it is expensive. It's I think like 60 something dollars. And you know, I think it's totally worth it, but I know not everyone wants to spend that. So this one, it's not cheap, it's still like, you know, higher end, but it's not 60 something dollars higher end. It has a little less product than the Jisoo, but it is significantly less money. I think this is almost $20 less. So this is the Way Fine to Medium Hair Mask. It is their treatment mask. But this is the Way Fine to Medium Treatment Mask. Hopefully, the so this is specifically made for fine to medium textured hair. They also have one for thicker, coarser hair. My hair is very fine. I have a lot of it, so you know I don't have thin hair, but the texture of my hair is very fine and soft so um, sometimes when you have like a heavier mask it can weigh your hair down and just get rid of any volume that you might have tried to achieve and just it makes your hair like limp and just too heavy so this is really nice it smells amazing the scent of this i would describe is just very clean and fresh a little tiny bit floral but really really nice so i love it this is what the consistency is um, it's definitely not as thick as the jisoo it's more of a lightweight texture it's like thinner and almost like goopier I don't know how to describe it just in comparison to the Jisoo if you've ever tried it that one is pretty dense this one is more fluid and you you don't really need a lot it glides into your hair it makes it feel like butter you don't even need to use a detangler after using this it's really amazing and I love it so I definitely need to try out more products from Way, but this one I'm way impressed with so funny she's so funny so then the next product i wanted to mention is not really a hair product but it's done amazing things for my hair amazing things for my skin and i'm obsessed with it so i wanted to mention it again because you guys always ask me about it so this is the modere liquid collagen biocell the one that's called life and i wanted to mention this because right now um, if you are someone who already knows that you love it if you go on their app and share your link and any of your friends buy it, you can get $20 credit, which is amazing because this is not a cheap product. Um, but what is the product? If you have not heard of it, let me tell you. So it's a liquid collagen and hyaluronic acid supplement. It just makes your skin and your hair just so just rejuvenated and youthful. You take two tablespoons of this a day and it, I swear, it like changes the game. Like it's like the fountain of youth for your hair and your skin. It has made my hairline so much thicker. I don't know if you guys can really tell. I feel like I'm not like the best candidate because I don't have thin hair, but I've even noticed that like my hairline, it used to go like more back and now it's like filled in so much more and I have so many like baby hairs and growths and I feel like you guys probably always see my flyaways, but it's just, it's done so many great things for my hair. My hair grows like crazy. My nails grow like crazy. And what else do I want to say? Oh, my skin. My skin is so hydrated and plump and just, just, it always looks dewy. Even if I have no product on my skin, my skin just looks dewy and glowy and just younger, which is amazing. I'm going to be 31 soon and anything that can help me hold on to my youth for as long as I can, um, I'm interested in doing. It's not a cheap product by any means, but I think it's worth it. I purchased my own. I know this brand seems super scammy and spammy and like pyramid scheme or whatever, but I truly love the product and that's why I keep talking about it. If I don't love a product, I don't talk about it. End of story. So if I wanna talk about it, I'm gonna talk about it. Anyways, let's move on to the makeup category. Um, first, I wanted to mention this amazing eyelash curler. Um, I've raved about the Surratt eyelash curler before, but I lost mine and 
it's like $40. And I was like, I need to find something cheaper because it is worth it, but I just didn't want to pay for that again. So I found this one. This is from Sephora. It's like a Sephora collection something. It's amazing. It's a total dupe for the Surratt Lash Curler. And if you are not familiar with that one, that one is great if you have wider, flatter eyes. It doesn't have like a super arched opening. So the ones that are more rounded and more arched aren't good for someone who has like a longer, flatter, wider eye because then it cuts in to your lash line and it can A, cut you and pinch you, but it can also make the ends of your eyelashes like in the corners get like crimpy and weird and just not flattering. So this one is amazing. And if you're looking for a dupe for the Surratt one, check this one out because it's amazing. So I'm not going to curl my eyelashes right now, but you know what it does. It curls your eyelashes and it does a good job. And then next I have an eyelash serum that I wanted to talk about. So I have been using and loving the Dr. Devgan Platinum Long Lash Serum, which I love it and I still stand by it and I still recommend it, but it is very expensive. I won't lie, like it's expensive. So I've been trying to find one that I like just as well that doesn't leave any lid darkening or lash line darkening or anything like that um, because there are certain ingredients that cause that. Like Grande Lash, for example, I used to love that one and use it all the time, but it gave me a really dark like ring like around my eyes and I didn't like that. So this one, it's from the brand Swede, which I think is like... I don't know if it's a Swedish brand, but it's definitely like a UK based brand. And this is their Pro Eyelash Growth Serum. And this is amazing. It doesn't cause any lash line darkening. Um, the first few days that I use it, my eyes were a little bit like irritated, but I think that's with any lash serum that you use for the first few days. But I do really like this. I've been using this for over a month now and I haven't seen my lashes go to shit. So I'm going to keep using it. I don't have a before and after for you guys because I was using the other one. But my lashes have not gone down or decreased in length or anything like that since using this. So that's why I think that it's working. Then lastly, I have a few makeup products that I wanted to share with you guys. And I'm not going to go very in depth because I'm going to do a full updated makeup routine video using a lot of new products and I feel like that's really the time and place for me to like talk about them more and show them in action because there's only so much you can say um, but I'm gonna lightly touch on a few. So first and foremost is this palette from Jouer. It's their champagne and macaroons face palette and it's literally the perfect spring palette. Like the perfect spring palette. It just has everything that you would need. It has blush, it has a bronzer. I use this as more of like my contouring bronzer, not like my all over face bronzer, um, but it also has a highlighter in here, which is like my perfect highlight shade. It's not too, you know, cool toned. It's nice and champagne colored. So I'm obsessed with this and you will see it in action soon but I would highly, highly recommend this from Jouer. Then the bronzer that I have been obsessed with all over my face ever since I did my Gucci first impressions video, I've been obsessed with this. So this is the Gucci Poudre de Beauté. Yeah, it's their bronzer in shade number three. <laughs> so this is shade number three. Shade number four was like the worst thing that ever happened to me, but shade number three is it. It is it for me. It has a little bit of shimmer in there, not too much or anything crazy, not like high school bronzer shimmer, but it's just so beautiful on the skin. I'm wearing it today. It's the perfect color for me. It's not too dark. Um, I still love my Ilia bronzer, but when I don't have a tan, like I haven't been tanning or self tanning at all. So that one is a little bit too dark for me sometimes. And this one is just so good. I know it's expensive, but it's really, really good. And I love it. And the packaging is so cute. And then next I have a new favorite foundation that I have been obsessed with and it is from the drugstore. I know I always talk about like Dior or Armani or something like that, but I wanted to mention this one because it is so good. Like if I were blindfolded, I would never guess this was CoverGirl. It is the Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. I am in the shade Caramel Beige. It comes with this red top, which I'm not into the red. I'm just not. If something is the color red, I normally hate it. So um, I just like to take the cap off, but it's an amazing, amazing foundation. It's very like full coverage. You only need like not even a lot. And even though it is full coverage and it says that it's sweat proof and humidity proof and 24 hour wear, like that sounds like it's going to be awful on the skin, but it 
literally feels like air. Like it feels so light on my skin. I'm wearing it today. You don't feel it on your skin and it is mask proof. It lasts all day. Um, Casey Holmes got me hooked on this and it's just so good and it's affordable and this color matches me really well. It is caramel beige. So yeah, I love everything about this other than the cap, but it's really good and you will see it in action in my updated makeup video very soon. And then lastly, I have two lip products that I've been loving. They are pretty similar and they're both expensive, but I'm gonna mention them both anyway. So first we have the Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess Lipstick. So this is a refillable packaging, which is nice because you don't have to keep buying the packaging. You could just buy the lipsticks. I also love the JK Magic one from this line. But here is Dance Floor Princess. It's really nice nude with a light pinky undertone to it. And I think I'm actually wearing this right now, but here it is swatched. And then the other one I've been loving, I talked about this on Instagram recently, it's the YSL Rouge Volupt Lip Shine in the shade 123, which is a new shade. And these are bougie and expensive, but it just reminds me of like old school YouTube days. Like these were like the it lipstick, you know? So this one I love. And it's definitely in like the same color family as all of the lipsticks that I like, but it's just like a nice nude. It's almost like a lip oil, but in like a stick form. And I love it. So that has been my go-to. And then last but sweetenly not least, I have a fragrance. I'm gonna do an updated fragrance video for the spring, but I wanted to mention this because I just have been loving it and I've already made a pretty big dent in this. So this is from the house of Parfums de Marly or something like that, fancy like that. And this is their new Delina fragrance. There's three Delinas, um, exclusive, the original, and then this is the newest one called La Rose. And this is probably my favorite of the three. I really like the exclusive. I don't really care for the original. For some reason, it's got a weird note in it that doesn't sit well with me, but this one is so good. It's very like, fresh and springy and light and juicy all at the same time. It is a rose based fragrance. I think there's peony in there, um, maybe some lychee. So it's like a fruity, rosy, fresh scent. I typically don't like rose scents, but this one I really like. It's just so nice. And the bottle and the packaging is obviously to die for, so. That is pretty much it. I feel like this video is super incredibly long, so I'm gonna stop talking. Let me know what products you have been loving recently in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.